Hey, what's up guys? Back with some more Minecraft and I know what you're thinking. And what you're thinking is why am I using a different texture pack than last time? And basically the reason for that is is because I talked to Ryan after using the last texture pack and he hated it. And I don't like it if anybody hates the texture pack. And plus, oh yes, I have found the mushrooms. And it sounds kind of bad when I've been looking for shrooms all day. But, I need them. And this time, I have to be sure to, one, not be retarded with um, the more stackables. And two, I really need to remember to grow these into the bigger mushrooms so I can harvest them like that. And I was originally out here going to look for some cows and herd those back to the uh, the house um, while starting, but I found the mushrooms and figured uh, what's the point in uh, trying to find the uh, cows and try to have those as a food source um, when I've when I've just found another one that we can use. And if you've noticed that my health bar is quite low and that's actually, I'm pretty sure that's how it was when I left off last time because I had eaten one piece of bread uh, as soon as I started so I could try to regenerate some health but it didn't quite put me over the top so yes and there's a nuzzle up but um, on this texture pack I, I've had it on here for a good little while um, and the main thing you're going to notice is that you can actually see the actual like regular pixels from uh, the default texture pack but they've just spruced it up and added the nice little effects in there I'll let you guys get some close-ups super super close up super close up with Optify and pretty much all it is is just like some nicer smaller kind of details into it so it doesn't add too much to the game to like ruin it but it does give it a nice little effect and once you get like up close on them and you can just close up close up close up and yeah so I don't think there should be too many problems with this texture pack I think the main problem with the last one was the fact that I was uh, like it has the different what do you call it uh, like it changes the color of the like the whole like template of the lighting and everything it changes all of that once you go into different biomes and I think that's what's really off in the jungle biomes because with Doku craft you can never really be sure when you play because it's really odd when you play because it changes the lighting so often so yeah but on the upside we're going to do some um, we're gonna do some mushroom growth and I think I'll just make me a nice little uh, some sort of little path I'm not sure what all I want to do yet and I noticed that we had the bookcases I, I didn't <coughs> I didn't notice this last time because um, you know I haven't played in a while because I've been doing ant farm and stuff but um, yeah I think I said something in the last episode about the the new updates really gonna scare me um, because of the the new effects that's going on with the uh, uh, what do you call it bookcases yeah um, because you're gonna need to start like putting leather um, in the recipe for books and that's gonna cost a whole lot more than uh, normal and it's gonna really really like slow down the enchantment table making so hopefully I can get enough done to where I don't have to spend a whole lot of time on that later. So I think what I want to do is if I get my axe out and stop being stupid and take these out, I want to make a cobblestone path out this way. I really don't know if I like the way this is going to look or not. I want like a small little area where I can grow the like larger mushrooms, but 
I'm not really sure where I want them to be. Like, I do want some scenic ones, the red ones, <coughs> because I like the red ones the most. Sorry about the, or about the coughing, by the way. I'm just, I don't know, my throat's stopped up or whatever. But I want to I wanna put some little, like, tiny floating, like, dirt blocks out here and then grow out the uh, mushrooms like that. I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, maybe we can put some lighting in there so at nighttime it kind of glows up in the water. So that'll be cool, and I still don't know if I want to do this with the over here. Yeah, grass growth. Um, I would, I want it to be three wide, if anything. Ugh. I do like the way the cobblestone looks like it. Like I think out of all of them, the cobblestone's the one that like changed the most. Ew, I can't talk today. But I did want to get a episode out because I normally try to do them every two or three days or so. But um, lately, uh, I don't know. I guess I've been getting busy. Um, so hopefully I can keep these coming out as regularly as possible. Um, and I can't plant them. Where do you plant these? Do you have to plant them on leaves? That's very odd. Because I've planted them on grass before. Plant. It won't even plant over here. Does it have to be dark? Ah, I think it has to be shaded. So what if I take a block, destroy this one, and put that, nope, 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 not gonna work. So what if I build like a hut around it, and we do this, still no planting? What if I... This is crazy. Um, this isn't normal. Like, I planted it on the leaves, but I don't... I don't think you can... I don't even know if you can bone meal them if they're on the leaves or not. Let me go check. Yeah, bones. Do I have any regular bone meal so I don't have to waste any bones? No, I don't. So let's make some bone meal. I didn't think so. So why does it? Uh, I don't. I don't know why it's doing. Uh, can I place a torch next to it? No. What is? I don't. I don't understand. No. 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 Where do you? Uh, where do you plant these at then? This is upsetting. I don't. Um. Did they make it to where you can only grow them on mycelium now? Because that would be key. What if we did this? And then cut this tree down. And then we try and Grow it like this. Did they make it where it doesn't waste bone meal now? That's cool. I don't know. I haven't noticed anything in the newest update. Like I, ha I don't mess with mushrooms a whole lot actually. Like I, I normally always have a food source. I've never really had the problem of not finding cows or pigs or whatever you want to call them. Farm animals. Oh. And now I can't plant that one back. That sucks. I will be right back. I'm going to look it up on the wiki. And yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm back. And 
my dogs are barking. Wonderful. Ah, uh, okay. So after reading a little bit on the forums, ooh, Apple, yay, Apple. Okay, but after reading on the forums, I've come to the conclusion that I don't know what I'm doing. So I have no clue how to grow mushrooms. Like you can plant them in the weird light levels under a certain amount, but when you, um, uh, I don't know really how to explain it because, like, if I push this here, it'll destroy it and it makes it to where I can't put, wait, I can? Yeah, apparently I can, I can. Interesting. So, apparently I have no clue what I'm doing. Um... But either way, I think I'm just going to start making a nice little farm down here because I know they'll spread on their own. Do they grow on cobblestone? Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten out the area down here and start growing them, I guess. Because I have no clue what else I'm going to be able to do. So I'm just going to separate them a little bit and we'll come down here every so often and gather up some mushrooms and since I can actually light up the place with torches I might as well because I don't want any monsters down here when I try to harvest anything and yeah I know it's dark and I'm on hardcore but still I'm a rebel but anyways I guess that'll or our food source problem will be postponed which is not a good thing. We really do need to find a way to get some sort of uh, food besides um, this farm here. Because even though it... Oh, you fag. Get out of here. I hate you. I don't have a... No, I don't. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that I put the lily pads down. And I think they work out pretty good. And the hoe. Um, I guess we could always fish, but I always have the like hardest time fishing, so I probably would do that off camera. Which I don't know if you guys like that idea or not, considering the fact that uh, you guys really don't know how many fish I'm gonna catch or whatever, and you go, eh, you're fishing, eh. Oh man, Enderman. Sweet. I would kill him, but there's a skeleton. And I'm low on health. I'm going to eat an apple. So I think while I have some bone meal, I'm going to grow these. And I'm going to grab as much as I can. And I'm going to make some bread. What the? What the? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Nah, you son of a bitch. Well, that was gay. So. Um. I don't know what to do about this. That was gay. You guys can... Um, I'm actually getting close to getting off for the night anyways, but you guys can kind of leave some sort of suggestion of what I should do about this in the comments. Um, you guys can tell me whether you want me to convert this world into a... What's it called? A survival world, or you can try to or tell me to back this one up to my previous save, which would be kind of pointless considering it wouldn't be hardcore anymore. Because if I'm just gonna restart every time. But yeah, so that was definitely gay. So anyways, um, I hope you didn't like this video because I just died. Um, but either way. Give me some suggestions on that, 